Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Salam like back. Another video. We're gonna talk nutrition. Things have been overplayed a little bit. If you guys want to go back, I've talked about macronutrients, protein intake, things to gain weight, things to lose weight. There's tons of videos on the internet. And there's also tons of full day of eatings. And if you guys really, really want a food challenge or full day eating, comment below. It's not what excites me, but I'd do it for you if we want. But I want to go over a couple things uh, that are regular on my diet. I've uh, got a lot of compliments from you guys, and it really feels good on Instagram. People noticing the veins, they're noticing the gains, they're noticing me getting a little bit leaner because um, I've been working, man. I've been I've been really locked in on my nutrition and really locked in on my training and cardio, so everything feels good. So some of the regulars that I eat, I do I do you know uh, some type of flexible dieting, but for me. I have really bad cravings. I love food and moderation, not moderation. I just love food. So for me, I like to eat things that really fill me up. Uh, volume is foods. And so that's what I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, well, number one is just this random broccoli mix. Um, it's literally just chopped up broccoli, carrots, veggies with a little bit of seeds and nuts. I don't use their dressing. I use my own. I just find like a lower calorie dressing and I'll literally eat this entire thing just by itself. Um, I do like veggies, so I'm a little bit lucky in that standpoint, but there's like, I don't know, with all the broccoli, this says with the dressing. So I don't know what the calories and stuff without the dressing. With the dressing, it's like 20 carb, 30 carb, 20 fat, a little bit of protein. So I imagine without the dressing, it's almost nothing really. So um, really good way to fill myself up. Here's just like a lean steak thing I found. Um, I think I got it at Costco, I might be wrong, but it's just a bunch of steak. It's already like pretty much cooked, but you just heat it up again on the stove. Uh, four fat, 18 protein per uh, couple ounces. Uh, I think this is a tri-tip, I might be wrong. Oh, this is just a beef sirloin. Um, and so there's a couple different cuts that are a little bit leaner, but uh, I like to eat a little bit of red meat uh, just because I uh, change of pace. I eat turkey, I eat chicken, um, things of that nature. This is something I'm new on. I'm not a huge dairy guy. I mean, I love ice cream, but I'm not a huge yogurt guy. Um, this thing's actually not that delicious, to be honest, because it's totally zero fat, zero sugar added. Um, one serving of this thing is 23 grams of protein and seven carb. That's why I throw some berries in, or I'll even throw some uh, cereal just to give it some flavor, um, but really easy protein source. Um, and it also fills me up again. You can eat a lot of this, uh, and it's just a bunch of protein. My macros are, are here or there, I, I, I'm not, tracking strictly. Um, I know when I'm kind of in the pocket and I go day by day by feel on how hard my training is just because I've tracked my food for years and years and years. So if you're new, I do suggest you track your food, you weigh, measure all that. For me, my food choices allow me um, to be a little bit more lenient because I'm eating these types of foods. And then when I go out with the boys uh, or traveling, then I'm just a little bit more precautious or I actually, um, I, I tend to track more when I travel. And last piece uh, is just this little snack uh, bagel. Um, shout out to Western Bagels. Actually, they're sponsoring this video. Uh, but this is something I'll eat pre-workout or even I'll get some deli meats and just throw it inside. If you guys like peanut butter, cream cheese, whatever you like. Uh, it's a protein bagel. So the, the, the stats are absolutely insane. I think a regular bagel is like 60 carb, three protein and like 10 fat. Uh, this thing, uh, depending on the style of bagel you get, is four fat. 30 carb, 30 protein. So super healthy, uh, fits my macros well, tastes really, really good. Um, and then and again, they have a bunch of different flavors, a, a bunch of different products. But this is something I'll wake up because I don't like a full stomach when I train. Uh, I'll eat one of these or before I stream on Twitch, I'll cut one of these in half, throw some turkey and roast beef in there, uh, basically like a protein sandwich. So keeping my carbs moderate, keeping my fat moderate. Uh, and protein high to keep myself full. But if you guys want to try out these bagels, I suggest you do. They're really, really good. Uh, and you guys know me. I don't really promote a lot of things. I only really promote things I believe in. It's Western Bagel. Link is in the bio. You can use code SILENTMIKE. Get 10% off uh, your purchase. I think they make muffins. I think they make more regular bagels too with a little bit higher carb content if you guys are on that bulk or whatever it is. Um, but they're super fast delivery and they taste delicious. They're a new staple in the house. Connor's eating them, I'm eating them. Uh, and it's just a really easy snack that keeps me filled up. So uh, we're gonna head to the gym now, but again, code SILAMIKE. Shout out to Western Bagel for helping me out. Link's in the bio, check them out. Let's hop into the video. <laughs> So I'm at Tame Strength here. Um, you asking what we did today? Yep. So, well, Mike, Mike, uh, listen, Mike has a whole lot of potential. 
Uh, he worked up to squats. He did a single on it. I think he did 475. Uh, looked way better than his 455. I think if Mike uh, takes his time within a few weeks, he'll be back up at 500. I worked on deadlifts. I did triples. Unfortunately, I uh, used the smooth bar recently, so I used that knurling and it taught me who's boss. So I did three sets, worked up to five plates um, on that for triples. Then with Alan, I did pin squats. I did a five by five of that, just loaded up. So the third set was the heaviest set, then back down. Then we did bench press. Everyone else did something sensible, which was like a five by five, like top single bend five by five. I did a little known uh, ancient Chinese secret, which was I did five, five, then I went up to 315, did four, back down by 15.2% to 265, did that for eight. 888, eight, eight, three sets of eight, and that's how you get to, you know, a big bench press. And that's it. We did a, we did a radical workout today. Probably nothing you've seen ever before on YouTube. Uh, we did the deadlift, squat, and then the bench press. So try that out if you want to get stronger. So after seeing Mike squat today, what? Yeah. Uh, what's my critique? Yeah. Well, what's your critique for um, the four or five squat challenge? Yeah. Okay. You want me to write this for you? Uh, no, so I, uh, I, think, I think it's clear, okay? Mike has the most potential out of the three of us, like clearly. Um, he's a little detrained because he's been focused on other things. If he brings his A game on Monday, he will absolutely outlift the other two. Um, but here's the thing. I'm gonna make it so that Mike goes before me. We'll do rock, paper, scissors. And uh, I'll know the number hey, he goes, hey, and then I'm gonna. He just said I'm gonna make it so Mike goes before me, and then says we're gonna do a fair thing called rock paper scissors. Oh, but I can read your mind. Sorry, I didn't. That's what I meant. Like it'll be a fair thing, but you know, yeah, yeah. I'm talking black magic, you know. Uh, and then Bart has no chance. I mean, we don't even have to talk about Bart, you know. No offense. He's. I don't know what excuse he's gonna use. I have a kid. I have many businesses. My knees hurt, but it'll be something. He's married. He's married, like that. I, I thought that was supposed to boost your testosterone, but apparently it doesn't, uh, which is why we're single. Um, and I'll, I'll finish comfortably second, so that's it. Today, I had a squat variation and touch and go bench. So my squat was pin squats, where you set the pins up uh, right at depth, just like a, just like a normal squat. Uh, pause on the pins. I did five sets of five. A ramping set uh, is what I would call it, or a ramping uh, work set. So set one, set two, a little heavier, set three heaviest, and then drop it down for two more sets of five. <clears throat> um, and then we're going to touch and go bench. Uh, actually worked up to one single. And then a percentage of that, five sets of five. That's it, just a whole bunch of fives. And what um, you know about Omar and Mike's and Bard's competition? Oh yeah. Who do you think, based on training like this week, who do you think between Omar and Mike? Because it's Bart's between them two. Yeah, yeah I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know anything about what Bart's been doing. Um, uh, you gotta give it to Omar. Yeah. Uh, I think Mike's uh, just getting back into things, and I think the 405 for max reps is gonna be a tall glass of cold water that he's not ready for. Uh, so I think Omar is gonna dig down deep. Uh, tap into that long hair strength and uh, pull out with the W. Close it out. Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to my channel. This is the end of this video, but because it's a channel, we'll be back in a couple days. Subscribe, thumbs up. I hope you like my friends. I hope you like my squats. More squats coming soon. I'm gonna go eat food. See you in Los Angeles.